All right, what I'm going to try and show you here is how to make a cubo octahedron and then from the cubo octahedron into a diagonal cube. What I'm starting off with is a six layered hexagon. You can go with any size you want, uh, but I figured this was a nice easy size to start with. That's going to be the very centerpiece. Then you make a five by six hexagon, a four by six, a three by six, a two by six, and finally you'll be making a one by six on the top. You have to make two of each because they're going to go on either side of the hexagon. So let's start off here with uh, the first layer. Let's see here. Oh, that didn't go well. <clears throat> All right, let's try again here. There we go, that looks a little nicer. Now I'm going to do the four by six. go. Four by six. And the three. There we go. And two by six. And finally, this is a uh, 15 ball. I'm going to lay it on here. Let's see if I can get it into a triangular shape. There we go. go and then you can fill that in with I believe that's a uh, six ball triangle there we go so that is basically one half of your cubo octahedron now I'm going to do the other side back to my triangle again here Once again, a six ball triangle in the center of that. All right, so now we have a cubo octahedron. And now in order to make the diagonal cube, you're simply going to extend the triangular faces. Um, you're going to go with a uh, nine ball triangle and then a three ball triangle. Let's 
So here's our three ball or our uh, nine ball triangle. I have to get the polarity right. Ooh. The corners can be a little tricky and a little unstable. It. There we go. And we'll put one in the center. And finally, we're going to do a So there you go. If you kind of mask that, you can kind of see the corner of where the cube will be. And you have to do that for each of the triangular faces, and you will have a diagonal cube. So, uh, these were made with Zen magnets. You can see my uh, mandala set in the back. I wish you well and good luck.